In this tutorial, I'll drill some holes using the Mazatrol programming system. Start by navigating to the program page. I have an existing program I'll be adding these holes to. I'll verify I'm in the right program and select program edit. I'm going to drill and chamfer these 9mm plate mounting holes. At the bottom of the existing program I'll start a new unit and select point machining. When viewing the available choices, it's important to keep in mind you should select the final condition of the hole you're making, not individual tools. This manual excerpt shows the final condition of the various menu selections. The last selection, High Speed Drill Use, is a flag for how tools are developed. When not highlighted, it is assumed you are using high speed steel type tools. As an example, if I want to create a chamfered 2 inch hole 3 inches deep, the control will create an extensive list of tools to create the hole when high speed drill use is not highlighted. However, if I want to make the same hole with insert tooling, I would highlight the high speed drill use button. When the tools are chosen by the control, the list is very different. I will be using a solid carbide through tool coolant drill, so I will highlight the high speed drill use button and select drilling. The diameter of the hole is 0.35 inches. The depth of the hole will be just through my part at 0.35 inches. And I want a 45 degree chamfer of 50 thousands on a side. Once I enter the chamfer, I'm presented with a list of tools the control thinks I need to make this hole. For the drill, I'll highlight the 0.35, select the tool data window button and choose the 0.35 drill in my magazine, just to make sure all the current information is entered. I'll skip priorities for now. Hole diameter is correct at 0.35 inches. Hole depth is good at 0.35 inches, but it's worth mentioning something about tool data here. When this tool was entered in tool data, a length comp was automatically calculated based on the tip edge angle. When the hole depth is set, the full diameter of the drill will be driven to a depth of 0.35 inches from the start point of the hole. In this case, that means the drill will go another 0.07248 inches deeper to get the full diameter of the drill to the program depth. If you don't want your drills behaving this way, simply set the length comp in tool data to zero. Feed rate reduction distance is how far from the bottom of the hole should you reduce the feed rate. This is useful when punching through material with a large drill. With a 9mm hole I don't need this feature. Bottom cutting feed rate sets the feed rate in this reduced section based on a percentage of the normal feed rate. Cutting pattern is where you choose from a large selection of choices how you want the drill to process each hole. There are a lot of different cutting cycles for a drill including many types of pecking and chip breaking. This excerpt from the programming manual illustrates the different types. You can drill with a chip breaker only, peck drill completely out of a hole, peck drill with a relief, or many different styles of fixed relief, pecking, and decremental depth pecking. Details of each can be found in the Mazatrol programming manual. This is a simple hole that doesn't require any special cycle, so I'll just pick drilling cycle. Depth of cut is used by many of the drilling cycles in various ways. In this case, it means it will drill into the part hesitating every 0.175 inches for a chip breaker until the hole is finished. For cutting speed I'll select Carbide Auto. This has given me 177 surface feet and a feed of 7 thousandths per revolution. Under the M code column, I'll set an M51 for through tool coolant on. For a second tool the control has given me a center drill. This is to create the chamfer so I'll use the tool data window to select my 1 inch spot drill. I'll skip priorities. The diameter of the chamfer is 0.45 inches. It's a 90 degree center drill. My cutting pattern will be a center drill cycle. Note that this cycle will dwell at the bottom to create a better finish. You can adjust this dwell by going to the TPC settings and changing the value of parameter D3. The number set is how many revolutions of the spindle to dwell. I'll use Carbide Auto to set my surface speed and feed rate. For an M code, I'll turn on flood coolant with an M8. It's worth noting how these M codes work here. The M51 on the first line, turned on through tool coolant for the first tool. On most machines, entering an M8 on the second line will shut off the M51 on the first line and turn on flood coolant for this line. 
on other machines, entering an M9 in the first M code slot, then an M8 in the second M code slot, will be necessary to shut off the coolant from the first line. In any case, adding the M9 here will normally work. Verify which system works best for your machine to avoid coolant issues. The point cutting pattern is where we define the hole locations. We'll use several different patterns to define our holes. Looking at the part, we can see there are four corner holes in a regular square pattern. So I'll start with a square pattern. The top of the hole is at a Z value of 0. X location of the first hole is minus 7.1. Y location of the first hole is minus 2.6. Angle to the X axis of the first line in the square is 0 degrees. Angle between the first line and the second line is 90 degrees. The length of the first line is 14.2 inches. The length of the second line is 5.2 inches. The lines are both a pitch between holes and a line length, since there are only two holes. There are two holes in the first line, and two holes in the second line. I don't want to omit the four corner holes. I don't want to omit the first hole. Because of my clamps, I want to return to the initial Z point rather than the R plane when traversing between holes. I'll define these two holes as a line pattern. Z value is again 0. The first hole is at minus 1.1 inches in X, and positive 2.6 inches in Y. Angle of the line to the X axis is 0. The length of the line is 2.2 inches. I'll call the line a pitch distance. There are two holes. I don't want to omit the first hole. And I'll return to the initial point. I'll define another line for these two lower holes. Pretty much repeating the last line with different values. For the last hole I'll just use point. X location is minus 4.55. Y location is minus 2.6. I'll set my positioning path to XY simultaneous. No, I don't want to omit the only hole in this pattern. Again, I'll return to initial Z after drilling. And that's all the holes. Highlighting the drilling unit shows the locations of the holes, allowing me to pan and zoom to view my work. I'll add a temporary end unit. And go to simulation to view what I've done so far. As you can see the whole pattern is now drilled and chamfered. Going back to the program, I'll delete the temporary end unit, and I'm ready to continue programming the part.